My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be getting a little bit creative. About a month ago, I purchased a Bobcat E35 compact excavator for the landscape business, and with that, I ordered some attachments, including a grading bucket. Uh, however, that grading bucket is still not here. It's on back order, and uh, we've got a project that we need that for, so we're going to try something a little bit different. And what I have in mind here is I'm going to take the old cutting edge off the snow egg snow plow and cut it up to a size that should fit in the grass strip area and I can use it as a grading bucket instead of the tooth bucket. The tooth bucket's going to take out more material than I want and uh, dig down further than what I need. So uh, we're going to give this a shot and uh, stay tuned. Okay, I saved this cutting edge from the snow plow. I knew I saved it for something. So I'm going to cut this down and maybe do like a, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is an eight and a half foot blade. So maybe we'll do like a, a three foot section and a five foot section. And I'll use this as a grading tool for the mini excavator. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to decide where the holes are at and where I should cut this out. Two foot eight. Two foot eight or three foot eight? Two foot eight. Two foot eight. Two foot eight. Okay, this, this section of the video is just waiting for all you safety Nazis to leave a comment, so let me down, know down below how I'm doing everything wrong here. Don't worry, it gets worse. That wiped out a blade real quick. Okay, how's she look? Looks pretty good to me, good enough for who it's for. I think that'll work perfect. Let's take you to the job site. Should have went with two foot eight instead of three foot eight. This is a two foot digging bucket. Now, if you want to prove to the world that you're a horrible excavator operator, just uh, put put your uh, really uh, put your operating skills under a microscope. And uh, yeah, I've been running equipment on and off for the last 15 years. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near the best out there.
blade keeps sliding up between the teeth and the thumb. Well, at this point, I had just about given up on the, the thing entirely. It just wasn't working the way I, I wanted it to. I could have rented a sod cutter, but this is a really small area, so it didn't really make sense. Um, sod is probably a little bit more difficult to take out. Uh, probably need something a little more fixed and attached to the machine. Um, kind of using the underside of the backside of the bucket here worked out pretty good. I still ended up just using the tooth bucket and digging down. It just it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Maybe this uh, grating edge or whatever you want to call this will work out good for me in the future but it just uh, wasn't jiving with me today. Had a job to get done, so I just uh, pushed forward. Well, that's about that. From here, we'll just give you a sneak peek on this next video we're doing. Uh, we did a landscape improvement project at this house, and this was just one section. This is the section that had grass. The other areas were already a planter bed. But we'll, uh, we'll let you kind of see what we did here, give you, like I said, a little sneak peek, and then in a future video, we'll show the full video and kind of explain what we're doing here and how we did it and why. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll turn on some music and let you enjoy this. Loaded up this extra sod and dirt and headed over to Naked Acres to dump it off at their place to backfill their trench. We helped them out with a few weeks ago. Um, you can check out that video on our channel or they've got a video on their channel as well uh, showing that uh, pipeline install for their, uh, their cattle. Here we are back the next day to install the rock. 